Well, it seems to me that I've got a lot of trustworthy times on my hands. That means we're going to do another triple feature of VHS closing. Okay? Good. This consists of... The 1995 VHS of Hiawatha from Robinson Crusoe. The 1982 VHS of Night Crossing. And the 1999 VHS of Bear in the Big Blue House, Volume 7. Let's start off with Hiawatha from Robinson Crusoe. The top is missing on this tape, so, I'll, so I'm going to take a while to get it started. Okay, just be patient. Did you hear something, Friday? Friday here, bird squawk. Paul, what happened? Where have you been? Ah, saying goodbye to all our friends. Sweet best sends her best. Yes, we've had good friends here. We're going to miss them. Bye. Whoa, let me tell you, that was a pretty big damage part, right? Wasn't it? Yeah. Co apparently, I checked at the film, and it was cut, and it looked like it was like, uh, in case you don't know, it turns out the tape was split at that part. It was like shred, would cause the film to mess up like that. But anyways, now everything's too simple. Now let's just, now let me rewind this tape real quick, then we'll move on. Okay? The only chance this could be a box in your death table. Oh well. Also, sorry about the vertical wall on here. I don't really know how to fix it. But anyway, just enjoyed the closing.
Also, once again, has another blank screen that is very long. Nine minutes and fifty seconds. I'm not gonna even show the whole thing. Let's just move on. Here's one thing about this tape. After this tape's over, there's 58 minutes of tape remaining, and if you leave it on, see, this Weber channel footage comes on. I'm not kidding. I can prove it. Rewind. See? I told you it was there. Okay. 
Carolina, especially even just What's even strange about this footage is I just see the track changes its appearance. Like let's destroy this. Let's adjust it. Whoa! Let's redo that. I actually put volume on mistake. See, I'm just adjusting the tape is not damaged. It's, I'm just adjusting tracking, that's all. Especially even just starting late morning and even really uh, going just through the uh, afternoon hours, 70% kind of random there, is it? Virginia. Now. <laughs> How about this? If I put it normally, it. Let's even. Okay. Watch this. Carolina, especially even just starting late morning and even really uh, going just through the uh, afternoon hours. That way's probably the worst. Chance of seeing a tornado within 50 miles of your area. Virginia, very simple. This footage, this has 50 minutes of tape ready, and it's this. And this last 50 minutes is this. Now, you see the red extending farther down towards the south. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I'm going to show you even more interesting. Let's fast forward to where this thing ends. Sort of coming together again, that's going to just aid in the lifting air. Well, this latest severe weather outbreak proved to be both deadly and destructive. Nearly 100 reports of tornadoes on Friday. Yeah, that's a really big number. And as Jen just mentioned, the TorCon uh, tornadoes remain a big threat today. Our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, giving one state a 70% chance of seeing that tornado today. Again, uh, the Weather Channel's exclusive TorCon index. We'll take another look at that coming up in just a short bit. We want to bring you uh, into the very latest. The East Coast on deck to get hit by again uh, the kind of third day of this uh, severe weather outbreak that has become the deadliest so far this year. Virginia, parts of uh, the Carolinas, North and South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, especially North Florida, could see severe thunderstorms and s potentially some isolated tornadoes. Whoa! Oh my god! That, ed that is exactly as he finishes his sentence. But yeah, that's pretty straight ending. It's like if it was a tape with the morning sound or something, but it isn't. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.